Thanks for being here. I'm John Erickson with your NBC 26 News Update. The White House website that allows people to order free COVID test kits sent directly to a home address is up and running. There is an order free at home tests button, which then goes to the USPS, the post office website, whereby filling out the name and shipping address, there can be four tests ordered. And at the checkout, there will be a confirmation number to track orders. According to the website, the tests should start shipping in late January. For a link, visit our website, NBC26.com. The Red Cross is facing its worst blood donor shortage in more than a decade, and the organization says it could put patients at risk. The crisis is renewing a call to lift restrictions for gay and bisexual men to donate. According to FDA policy, gay or bisexual men have to be celibate for three months in order to give blood to avoid transmission of HIV. Last week, 22 U.S. senators, led by Wisconsin Senator Tammy Baldwin, asked the FDA, quote, to quickly act on the best available science and update its outdated and discriminatory blood donor deferral policies, unquote. Let's turn to a check of our weather here on this Tuesday afternoon. Warmer for us today. Here's Chief Meteorologist Cameron Moreland. Cameron? That's right, John. We are looking at a January thaw across the NBC 26 viewing area. Temperatures right now in the lower to mid 30s, obviously above freezing, but there's a cold front headed our way behind that cold front right now. Temperatures are only in the mid teens and that colder weather is going to work in here for tomorrow. I'm expecting highs to only be in the teens. Wind chills will be below zero with a mixture of clouds and sunshine. For your latest news, sports and weather, download the NBC 26 news app. Have a great day.